Gucci vlog. I'm fresh out of the shower, so that's why my hair is up. Now we're at the point of getting ready. That's kind of fun for me to show you. I have two outfits that I want to bring to this photo shoot, which is going to be downtown Salt Lake City with a downtown kind of vibe. It's going to be really hot today, so we'll see if I can come up with something that doesn't involve a lot of layering because I love to layer. Also, I'm going to an event tonight. There's a fashion show downtown that I want to go to and we're going to try and promote Walking for Gold while we're there. So the second look that I'm going to wear for the photo shoot is also the look I'm going to wear to the fashion show. So I kind of have to plan outfits with a few different functions. It has to look good on camera, has to work for fashion show, and I can't be too hot in it because it's 100 degrees outside today. Let's go. First option, let me show you. This is a dress that I just got at the thrift store last week. It was like $10. Oh, yeah. $10.99. It is so pretty and it's backless so I think this will be perfect for like an upscale downtown type of look and with open back hopefully I won't get too hot. Let me try this on and show you what it looks like. Also I need to decide what shoes to wear with it because I haven't gone that far. Here's the dress. The thing that I don't understand is how people are donating things to the thrift store that are like my perfect sense of style. I end up buying things and I'm like how could anyone ever get rid of this like this is beautiful but like thank you at the same time so I can't believe I found it just like this at the thrift store I absolutely love it and I'm gonna wear it today I still need to pick out some shoes I really want to have like a heeled sandal but I don't have the right kind and all my other shoes that are heels that I like are closed toed it's too hot for that today let's go see this is just a bunch of boots and then nude shoes, more closed-toed or sandals that won't look good, and then I have this black pair. I really want to get rid of these and replace them with something else, but I might need these for the Walking for Gold runway show, so I've been holding on to them while actively trying to find a replacement. I don't like this heel height. It doesn't photograph well. There's been a change of plans. I'm now wearing this dress. I have no shoes that look good with that other dress, and I was just trying to convince myself that I would have time to go to the store and buy a new pair of shoes, but that's not going to happen. I'm wearing this dress. It's very cute. Still has the vibe I'm trying to go for. Sock or no sock? Comment down below, sock or no sock. All right, let's talk about the second look. So I went to the thrift store today and I bought some things that I think will look really good for the second look and also for me to wear to the fashion show. So let me show you. The thrift haul, I bought a new pair of black jeans to replace a different pair that I have that does not fit me. Then I found these cool pants, which again, I was like, who donated this? It's too good to donate, but thank you. It's a pair of like short, wide leg pants. I'm obsessed with pants right now. I need it to be winter or fall because all I do at the thrift store is buy pants, but I can't wear them because it's 100 degrees outside now. But for tonight, I bought another pair of pants. They're so cool. They're like this white with gold pinstripe on it and kind of a glittery fabric. They're kind of a low rise, which is unexpected for me. So I want to wear these pants with one of my sandals that I have. And then this button up that I also thrifted, just a very usual white button up. And then I want to wear this brown crop top underneath just to kind of bring together the color story. A little bit of white, a little bit of brown, a little bit of cream, a little bit of beige, a little bit of cute in the city, a little bit of cute for a fashion show, a little bit of I'm going to be too hot in this, but I will look good. So let me try this on and see how it looks. Okay, this is the look. We'll do it with like button done, tucked in, that kind of cool vibe with these shoes. I just don't know if I like, I like it. Still needs some reworking, but I love these pants and I kind of really want to try and wear them tonight. It's taking me way too long to try and decide, so I'm just going to stick with the original idea of this look. But I have to do my hair now. So picking them up will take me way too long, um, and I'm really stressed out. I don't even like the outfit that I have, but it was so hard for me 
to pick and also take into consideration how hot it's outside. Anyway, I got this far with my hair. Hopefully it turns out this time. I bought a bunch of new rollers, so I think it'll go better. I'm just gonna do really simple makeup, really light, because I don't have time to do anything else. And then hopefully I'll have time after that to blow dry my hair. my makeup I'm not sure about the hair like if I should take it down now or if I should try and drive with it I might drive with it just really want to make sure it turns out good anyway I'll go. so I'll see you there I made it let's see how things are looking okay that's okay I'm just gonna take all these out and tell you about what we're doing today today's shoot is with Kelly, and I've shot with him multiple times. The shoot we were going to do today originally was going to be a different concept that we had been planning to do together with some other people and it didn't work out with them. So I was like, hey, do you want to just shoot this concept with just me? Because it was my idea in the first place. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. But then I had this opportunity to come to this runway show and I wanted to go. So I texted him to see if he wanted to shoot a different idea in downtown instead. So I could just go do the photo shoot and then immediately after go to the runway show. And he was like, yeah, working with Kelly is always great. His photo quality is great. We should have some nice buildings to have as a backdrop. I have two outfits. I actually changed the second one since I last checked in about the clothes. I just hope that I like this outfit. I really wanted like Pamela Anderson bombshell hair, so I feel like it's already looking like that. It's looking good. But the joke's on me because I'm still pretty new to using rollers in my hair and I did this front roller the wrong way and ended up with hair looking like this. The front part of my hair was flat against my head and the curl of it was going way to the outside of my head. It looked so funny. Luckily, I was able to sort of tame it down in the bathroom after a bit of zhuzhing and by the time we started shooting, the hair had actually fallen enough to where it looked just fine. So all of these are really... just finished the photo shoot. Oh, stay there. We just finished the photo shoot. Ay, ay, ay. We just finished the photo shoot and now I am changing for the event. We actually only ended up shooting in one look. So I'm still going to change into my second look for the event. I'm just trying to change in my car. For whatever reason, I feel like I need to do this instead of trying to change in the bathroom but it's really easy to change if I'm being honest. So, changing in my car. But I, I made a mistake of parking right next to the elevator. So, I'm like changing between elevator shifts. You know what, maybe I'll just drive somewhere and finish changing when I get there. Because this feels awkward, there's a lot of people around here. I just parked to meet my friends. Change my outfit 
Now I just gotta change my purse over to my cute purse. And I am gonna go meet my friends for the event. I think I have everything I need. I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Here's how the second look turned out. It was way cute and totally appropriate for the weather. I was meeting up with a few members of the Walking for Gold admin team. We were attending the fashion show together, and while we waited for everyone to show up, we got some cute fit pics. We really enjoyed the event. It was a great show. The designs were great. The venue was great. The performers were great. And we were able to do a lot of promotion for Walking for Gold. Here's some footage from the event. of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i had a lot of fun on this day with the photo shoot and the fashion show overall i'm really happy with how the photo shoot went i had a lot of fun shooting downtown and working with kelly at, like i said is always really great and i'm super happy with how the photos turned out and I was super happy to have attended that fashion show. There are a lot of really talented designers in Utah, and I love that there are a lot more shows going on these days to elevate those designs and get the name out about these designers. That's exactly what we're trying to do with Walking for Gold. Not only is our goal raising money for the child that we sponsor every year but of course we really want to encourage the fashion industry in utah and keep an open lane for creatives to keep being creative that being said don't forget to buy tickets to the walking for gold show if you live in utah if you can't buy a ticket and you are looking for other ways that you can support you can always donate directly to the millie's princess foundation for samantha and you can also just share our flyer. Sharing the flyer is one of the most helpful things that you can do. You can find it at the Walking for Gold Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, threads, all kinds of platforms. I've been a little bit inactive on them lately just because I've been so busy planning the Walking for Gold show, that, which is why I really hope that you can come and see it. It's a lot of hard work to put on a fashion show. We spent 10 months prepping for the show and it's all riding on one night, so <laughs> gotta make sure everything goes perfectly. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and please leave a comment down below. Anything you want, let's just chat a little bit, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>